The first thing to do is to download the right installer for your system. To get to the official download area, log into the customer gateway. Please note the HTTPS in the URL, this means it is a secure link. Next, click on the download area link and on the next page click the Maxwell Render logo. You are now in the download area. From the first drop-down, choose the Maxwell Render version you wish to install and then choose the right installer for your system. In our case, it will be the Windows 64-bit installer. Once the file is downloaded, make sure that you right-click it and choose Run as Administrator. This step is important as it will ensure the installer will have the right permissions on a Windows system. Click Next, then Agree to the License Agreement. In this window, you will have the choice of also checking the RLM server install. You should check it if you intend for this computer to be the licensed server computer, which will serve licenses to all the computers on your network. Please note that only one computer on your network should have the license server installed. For all your other computers, you should not check the RLM server checkbox. We will take a look in a moment on how to license your other computers. For now, we will license the computer that will also act as the license server. Click Next again to install to the default program files folder. You can choose to install the material library in the default location or choose another folder if you wish. After the installer has copied the files, it will ask if you wish to license Maxwell Render. If you already had version 3.0 installed and it was already licensed, you do not need to redo the licensing, so you would choose no. But in our case, since Maxwell is not already licensed on this computer, we will choose yes. In the next window, we will choose the first option since we have a license key. This license key consists of a series of digits. You should have received an email from Maxwell Render Sales with your license key. If you can't find this email, please check your spam folder first of all, and if you still can't find it, contact Sales using the Sales contact form and request they resend your license key. In this window, we will choose the first option, since this computer also has an internet connection. Choose the second option if the computer that will be running the RLM license server doesn't have an internet connection. We will take a look in a moment on how to do that. For this example, we will choose the first option. In the following window, we need to enter three things. Your email and password, which are the same as you use for the customer portal. The third is your license key, as mentioned before. Once you've entered your email, password and license key, click Activate and the License Activator will connect to our servers and validate your license. Please make sure no firewalls are blocking the connection to our servers, otherwise an error message will appear saying your license could not be validated. Your license key will be placed in this folder on your system. Please note that in the license server computer you will have two license files. One is the actual license file called Maxwell Suite Floating. The second license file only contains a single line of text, which you can examine in any text editor. It tells Maxwell on which computer the license server is running, specified either by the computer name or the IP, and which port it should use to connect to it. All your other computers will only contain the single line Maxwell license file. We will take a look now at two ways you can license your other computers. The first method consists of going through the license activator after you have installed Maxwell. The second method can be quicker and consists of simply copying the license file named Maxwell License to the appropriate folder on each of your computers. This way could be preferable especially if you have a lot of computers to license. In either case you must first install Maxwell as usual remembering not to check the RLM server checkbox in the installer. Once the installer is finished, choose Yes in the dialog asking if you wish to license Maxwell. In the following window, choose the second option. Click Next and in the following window, you need to specify the name or IP of the computer on your network that's running the RLM license server, along with the port number it should use to connect to it. In most cases, you can leave the port number at the default 5053, but in some cases you may have an application installed which already uses that port for communication. We will take a look in a bit how you can change this port number. Click Connect and the activator will try to connect to the license server computer. 
It is important you do not have any firewalls running on either this computer or the license server computer which may block the connection. Most licensing errors are due to firewalls at this point. Once it has successfully connected, it will save a Maxwell license file in this folder. Please note that this is the same single line of text license file as mentioned before. Now start Maxwell and look in the console panel to check that Maxwell is correctly receiving its license from the license server computer. If you see any error messages here, please take a look first of all in our licensing troubleshooting page found under the installation and licensing chapter of our documentation. The most common errors are due to a firewall running on either this computer or the license computer which is blocking access. Try as a test to turn all firewalls off, then restart Maxwell to see if that fixes the problem. Once the installer is finished, choose No in the dialog asking if you wish to license Maxwell. Open any text editor and write the following single line of text in it. Host, followed by the computer name or IP of your license server computer. Then the word any, followed by the port number, in this case 5053. You can also use another port number, which we will explain in a bit. Save this file as maxwell underscore license dot lick and place it in the appropriate folder. To find out which folder is the correct one for your system, please look in the first page of our installation and licensing chapter of the documentation. Most likely, that folder path will not exist on your system since we skipped the licensing process in the installer. In this case, simply recreate the path manually. You can now simply copy-paste this license file into the correct folder on all your computers, thus speeding up the licensing process. To license the RLM computer, which may not have an internet connection for security reasons, choose the second option in this window. Please note that this computer which is running the license activator now does need an internet connection since it still needs to connect to our servers and validate your license key. In the next window, you need to enter the host ID, also known as the MAC address of the computer you wish to license. The easiest way to find out the host ID of the computer that's meant to run the license server is to install Maxwell on that computer, remembering also to check the RLM server checkbox in the installer. Once the installer has copied the files, choose not to license Maxwell since we will create the license file on this computer instead and then copy it to the RLM computer. Let the installer finish and then start Maxwell. In the console panel of Maxwell, look for the host ID listed there. Take note of it and then write it in the license activator. The following window is exactly the same as before, so please enter your email and password you use to connect to the customer portal and your license key. As always, please make sure no firewalls are blocking access. Click Activate. The license activator will now connect to our servers and validate your license. It will detect that you have a floating license key and ask if you wish to also install the license server now. Choose Yes in this case and let the RLM installer finish. Once this is done, you will see a save dialog box asking you to save the license file, which will be called maxwell underscore suite underscore floating dot lick. Save this file anywhere on your computer. You can uninstall the RLM server we installed before. It was only needed in order to get the save dialog box. Next, copy this license file to your license server computer and place it in the appropriate folder. To find out the path of the folder, depending on the operating system you are running, please check our documentation under the main page for the installation and licensing chapter. In some cases, you may already have an application installed on either your RLM license server computer or any computer on your network, which already uses port 5053 for communication. In this case, you need to change the default port number used by RLM to communicate with your computers. On your RLM computer, open an Explorer window and navigate to the license folder as shown. You will see two license files there. We need to change both of them using any text editor. In this case, we will use Notepad. Please note that due to the Windows permissions, it will not let you resave the files unless you start Notepad with administrator permissions. 
In order to do that, search for Notepad, right click it and choose Run as Administrator, then open the first license file. Here you can see the default port number of 5053 specified. Change this to 5065 for example. Do not use port number 5054 which is a reserved port. We recommend using any port between 5030 and 5070. Once you've changed it, simply close Notepad and choose to save the license file. Now we need to repeat the same procedure for the other license file. Change once again the port number here, so it is the same as in the other license file. Now that we have changed the port number, we need to restart the RLM server in order for these changes to be taken into account. To do this, open an internet browser and type in the address localhost colon 5054. This is a reserved port which RLM uses to display the user interface. Click the button Reread Restart Servers from the left hand side. You can now restart Maxwell and check in the console panel that the new port is working OK. If you don't get any error messages, it means the new port is working. If you see an error message here, please turn off all your firewalls as a test to see if that isn't the cause. If Maxwell now receives its license correctly, then make sure you allow two-way communication for the new port number. Please don't forget to also copy this updated Maxwell license file to all your computers overriding the older ones. Otherwise, those computers will not be able to communicate with the RLM license server.